Reeds uh, inside the big dome. Start starters for Alaska, you have uh, Jeffy Carriasso, Nick Balasco, Reynel Hook, Nathan, Sunny Foss, and Mike Cortez. Uh, the first of the day, Boy Cruz, Joey Kalungkagin, and Garchi Ferrer. Well, dito nga, Miko, uh, you can see right away, yung changes na sinasabi ng both coaches. They stinkered with their starting lineup. Now you can see Nahoy that's starting. And uh, for Alaska, of course, Sunny Foss starting also. So, uh, for Red Bull, this is normal, no? Ayan ang style talaga ni Coach Yeng. Yeah, he starts with Pickles with the starting lineup. He has a different starting unit almost every ball game. Pero si sa Alaska, this is different. So, you know, uh, let's see what will happen to the campaign. Here's for the share. Nahor down the right side. Nahor down the ball. Slightly bobbling with the basketball and uh, puts up an air ball. Lapa kung puto sa ating uh, scoreboard uh, ngayong hapon. Here's the last four as a uh, minute uh, goes by here in the opening quarter. Boss against Pinisi. Pinisi with advantage in terms of experience, but uh, Sunny Boss uses his six seventh frame to score that time. Single coverage that time for Red Bull. Pinisi against uh, Sunny Boss. And uh, Sunny Boss just went strong to the basket. Well, last guy's up 2 to nothing here in the opening quarter. Here's Maggio. Over to the Horda, and he gets blocked by Sunny Foss. Foss doing it at both ends of the basketball court. Hope Nathan steps on the brakes. Hope Nathan, huh? Playing quarterback here. Para sa Alaska, here's the last drop against the Horda. Buff matchup pa para kay Horda. And off for Cariaso with eight to shoot. Cariaso on the move. He zigzags inside and is swallowed by the defense. But the whistle is blown by Joey Kalongkagi. Cariaso doing a wise move then, no? Actually, he had nowhere to go. He just wanted to fish off that foul. And he got that foul. Now he's going to shoot to the line. First personal lap and came back. That is the first team foul of the ball game, sending Jeffrey Cariaso to the line. In the, the last meeting, it was with Jeffrey Cariaso. Had nine assists, which was after his uh, career high in, in terms of assists. Also had 11 points and seven rebounds against uh, Red Bull. Score is 4 nothing. Uh, check that, 3 nothing in favor of uh, Alaska. The Red Bull uh, in search of their first points of the afternoon for the share. Short, and the last score snare is the rebound. I know this is going to be a tough uh, matchup also for Larry for the share, no? going up against the chair for Cariaso. I don't know what I'm So, one of the better defensive guards we have here in the PBA. And the rookie will really be challenged against uh, Jeffrey Cariaso. Here's the order. Baggio. Red Bull still scoreless today. The order. Almost loses that ball in you, and for the share fails to ring the bell, and the Horda is there, and Horda's persistence pays off. Yes, finally, you know, after a couple of tries, Karina, in their offensive set, the Horda getting that offensive rebound and a follow-up. Still a one-point lead for Alaska. Boss, dangerous pass uh, issued to Hugnata, Hugnata not at all ready to receive that pass. Gusto nila yung post-up si Ugnata and that time kasi si Baguio had to switch on Ugnata and good thing Baguio was able to tap that ball outside. Six to shoot para sa Alaska. Belasco. Sunny Toss, open jumper. Yes, sir. Sunny Toss. Three-point lead para sa Alaska. Five to shoot over eight minutes to go in the opening quarter. Here's for the share. Over to Penisi. Penisi goes baseline. He had nowhere to go. And uh, no other option but to throw the ball against Cortez. Oh my goodness. It's a bit of a pop up for players on Red Bull at the start of this ball game. Because we uh, have uh, players nga that are uh, not used to fighting for Red Bull. Like Ibanez and uh, Nahoida. So it's a out of sync for the offense nila here at the start of this ball game. And it uh, really looks like an. An, an orthodox uh, yes. five, right? Oh, oh. Because the only legit big man is Nick Penisi. That is right. So, opting to play small. Uh, pretty, you know, she's a hard time to play in a position. 
So it's also uh, the big and good thing. He has to uh, play, he can play as well. Put him in multiple positions and see what will work. And that's what he's doing right now. High point lead for the Aces, 7-2. In the opening quarter, Finisi to Baggio. Baggio fires. Baggio uh, gets his first field goal of the afternoon. Cutting down Alaska's lead to three. Here's White by Ibañez. Cortez to Carriazo. Carriazo on the move. He gets hammered. And that's going to be a blocking foul against uh, the Red Shirts. That's right. On the help defense, secondary defense to lead. You don't see Leon the hold that. That's why he's going for a blocking foul. Both teams with two team fouls at least. That really is a very, very tough uh, matchup for uh, Leon Horda, who is not a natural double uh, coming from Red Bull. Because in the is not really used to guiding guys at the post because he plays the wing position. Maybe if he was back in the NCAA, yes, he, all that right he has the height. That's right. But uh, you know, not here. Oh. You know, my adjustments are coming up the ranks, no? from college, from the PBL, to the PBA, you won't play the same position that you'd be playing uh, in the amateur days. So now for him to adjust. Seven and a half remaining in the opening quarter. Lima, ang abante ng Alaska. Let's see, Ibañez. Nakawagan ng holding foul, lapat kay Cortez. That's going to be the fourth team foul, lapat sa Red Bull. Well, Alaska now is just trying to uh, exploit matchups, no? Uh, where they feel that they have the advantage sa pulang top. Pupunta na naman sila kay Velasco. Carriazo, top of the key. Velasco snaring the offensive rebound over the smaller Nahorda. With Nathan in the quarter. Inside of Carriazo. Oh. Sorry, missed. He had an open look at that reverse layup. Bola pupunta sa Red Bull. Kaya nagalit sa kanya na sarili niya. Ito si Jeffrey Carriazo. That was a great pass. Yeah, long field to uh, finish it. Para po sa lahat ng uh, nanonood sa atin, sa mga boosts, uh, ah, yung mga may mga television sets sa kanilang mga kakakyan. We all uh, wish you a uh, uh, pleasant afternoon, pleasant Sunday afternoon, and a safe trip uh, back to uh, Manila for uh, right, most of uh, our viewers. Back to your... Uh, Places of work. Places of work. Cortez to Carriazo in the quarter. Yes, sir. Jeffy Carriazo nearly something from the outside. Here comes Baggio. Beauty foul here by uh, Mike Cortez. Mike Cortez binangga yung uh, kanyang kasama dun sa mythical team ng UAAP taong 2002. Here's for a share. And he is best three-point shooter. Scores a TM3 sa tutsay ng bagong TM. Power to the people. And the triple coming off the screen. Setting up your shot. And uh, ito talaga si Larry po na siya. It's a breakout uh, year for him. Well, this is his first year. Pero uh, a lot of people are surprised with his performance. Four to shoot para sa Alaska. They're up by four. Acrobatic move by uh, Sunny Cross won't uh, work. Ito na si Ibanez, bounce pass na na kay Baggio, bet by Cortez. Ibanez for about the three, pinili kay Baggio with 16 to shoot. Ibanez now to Fonacer, Fonacer on the move, Fonacer, no go. Patulis, yung kanyang tira, here's Carriazzo. Tabang pa rin ang Alaska dito sa opening quarter. Cortez uh, working from the corner. Over to Sunny Cross, good pass by Cortez, and Sunny Cross gets the basket, make a Samapang foul. So this new starting unit for Alaska, playing very well together. Here's the Horda, the Horda goes baseline, outside to Bagnes for three, yes sir! The former PSPA Jaguar gets a PM3 so did say in a bottom PM, power to the people, but it's still a four point lead for Alaska. And well, it's crucial for Ibanez to be an offensive threat because they're doubling off of it. Whereas yeah, he can get this confidence going and they won't double off Ibanez anymore. And Horda showing uh, 
uh, Alaska singer to Kanina niyo pa ako Sinusipal pa Sinusipal pa ako naman Oo Sinusipal yung kanyang interior defense And uh, he uh, rejected that uh, layup by Mike Cortez And then there was a loose ball foul against Cortez His second person Here's the Horda, top of the key and Red Bull battling back here in the opening quarter after falling behind there's many a seven points Red Bull is the Apat the Putos in the Horta here Sino stuck here with a steal Sino is up and we're all tied at 14 and it, all it took is a uh, single time out from Coach Yang Yao for a magazine to unit and now they're coming out more aggressive defensively kaya sila nahawag na rin kapi yung offense nila Siguro masyado aggressive yung defense ni Cyrus Baguio. He picks up his uh, third personal foul. Yeah, Yang Gia really stuck with this uh, starting lineup uh, kahit uh, lumamang ng pito ang uh, Alaska. Eh, that's the type of coach uh, that Yang is. No? Talagang uh, pa papabaya ang kanya bumawi. Eh. He's not the type of coach na pag nagkamali ka, ilalabas ka agad. Alaska, on the other hand, ito naman eh, medyo, they have a grudge against Dito Kel sa Red Bull, no? Because the last four meetings, hindi kasi na nananalo dito sa Red Bull. They were swept in the quarterfinals of the previous conference. They lost in uh, the first meeting. So talagang, uh, gusto rin naman nila makabawi dito sa Red Bull. And uh, these two teams have a history. You might remember, uh, that time in the last conference, uh, Salino Cruz and Don Aliado, and, uh, had an issue. Yes, and uh, napatamay pa doon si Rico Villanueva. Uh, Nagkaroon din ng konting uh, tulakan doon. 12 minutes to go in the opening chapter. Two points ang lamang ng Alaska. By the way, itong Red Bull nasa penalty na po. Here is Ibanez. Over to Lahore. That's not pitawad ng bola. And it rolls uh, against the foot of the Horda, last touch on Red Bull. Would have been a great play for Red Bull. Kung na-complete lang yun, nasa Lusana ni Nahorda. Si uh, Warren Ibanez had three guys going forward sit na. Uh, he spotted the cutting Nahorda. The hit man, Junti Valenzuela, is now in the ball game for the first time. Pinalitan si Cyrus Baggio. Here's Velasco. Oh, he fails to score against the Horta in that instance. But there's a loose ball picked up by Hugnata and over to Velasco. Velasco fires. Clean as a whistle. See, Velasco may up at the puntos ngayong hapon. Oh, Nick Velasco. Once he was traded dito sa Alaska. Ang bilis mo maka-adjust dito sa system ni Coach Pinto. As a matter of fact, ang high-end leading scorer ngayon sa Alaska. First attempt uh, is a beauty para kay Junti Valenzuela. So he cuts down Alaska's lead to 2, 18-16 as we move past three-minute mark of the opening quarter. Asa ni Carriaso na tapik palabas and will stay with the Aces. And the Aces uh, hoping to snap a three-game losing skid today. Same goes for Larry Fonacher and the rest of Red Bull Barajo. And uh, we welcome uh, the Raging Bull inside the hard court and Rico Villanueva replaces uh, Nick Pelisi. Velasco scores and there's a Raging Bull against uh, Red Bull. So right off the bat, coming off that timeout, they went to Nick Velasco and once again took to the line. First personal foul up and gave share. Kanya lang, kanina pa na sa penalty on Red Bull. And Velasco fails to complete the three-point play. Under three minutes to go. Before the end of the opening quarter, four points are in the hubble of Red Bull. Barajo, Junti having trouble with the leather, picked up by De La Cruz, quickly to that and Eddie Banya swipes the ball as it goes out of bounds in front of the Red Bull bench. You know what you get problem when you dribble against a small defender, and like, uh, they will seize that opportunity to uh, steal that basketball away from you. Tony De La Cruz is in the game for the first time for Alaska. Here's Velasco. Velasco almost uh, going exclusively to Velasco. And that's going to be Nahorda's third personal foul. Yeah, nga, eh, kasi they've been successful no, going to Nick Velasco against uh, Leon Nahorda. That time, Leon Nahorda gambled for a steal. Kaya nahuli siya. He got a big part of the ball. Kaya nga lang, tinawagan pa rin ng foul. Rich Alvarez is now in the ballgame. Jorge Alvarez is now in 
the Horta with three personal fouls. Pareho na sila ni Cyrus Baguio. That's why he has to sit on the bench. At uh, marahil ay pagod na pagod na rin yan. Having to uh, bang bodies with a bigger and stronger Nick Velasco since uh, the opening tip-off. Willie Wilson also in the game for the first time para sa Alaska along with Don Aliado. There's a familiar matchup between Enrico Villanueva and Don Aliado at the post. Here's Valenzuela to Villanueva. First touch of the basketball for the Raging Bull. Ibañez fires short. And Alvarez gets the offensive rebound and he gets smothered by Aliado. Under two minutes to go in the opening uh, period. Three, seven, one, nation. Villa Neva. 13 to shoot. Benacer. For three, no goal. Bola na punta kay Villa Neva. And he goes up and he will miss. Bola na tapik. Picked up by Ibanez. Saving it to Valenzuela. New shot lock para sa Recho. Nobody's getting it. Ibanez there at the corner. This is a three-point attempt. However... Minute and 11 to go in the opening quarter. Ani, bang lamang ng Alaska, they led the game as many as seven points uh, earlier. The traveling by Lejano and then uh, Monaliado. That's a good call. He lost his footing. Well, you know, Maikita Morena, guys coming off the bench for both squads. Uh, you have Rich Alvarez going uh, ahead of Lloydy Pagade. Ngayon, si uh, Totex Robinson just uh, getting ready to check in. So talagang uh, hindi nagbibura yung Totex when they said they will tinker their lineups and find the right combinations on the floor. On the other hand, naman, for uh, Alaska, Aliado, so coming off the bench. And uh, even uh, Willie Wilson came off the bench ahead of the board. Masabay na sila. Here comes Totex Robinson checking in. Yeah, I'm not at all surprised that uh, these two coaches are not afraid to experiment. That normally happens when a team is in a long losing skid. Kasi maghahanap na talaga ng kung ano-ano paraan. Para makahanap ng liwanag. Ano? Tama yan. Kasi it's a team namin. Nagkaroon din kami ng long losing. O kung ano-ano na eksperimento namin. So lang nalang mag-uniforme ka. So lang nalang. Baka lalong ma-extend yung losing skid. Kasi gano'n eh. Pero buti na lang, nakahanap mo yun ang paraang manalo. Willian Nevas, catches the rebound. Pero labang pa rin ang Alaska dito, 22-16. Red Bull. As they yet to score here in the past two minutes. Bonacer. Alvarez, back to Bonacer. Seven to shoot. Outs pass for Willian Nevas. Five to shoot. Drops in, no goal. One second to go, Willie Wilson! They are hoping to get back on the winning track. Two teams that are hoping to resurrect their campaign here in the PBA Philippines. Oh, sabi nga ni uh, Peter kanina sa report niya, hindi pa sila nananalo. In the month of April, ang huling panalo ng Red Bull was uh, last March 29. When they won against the third one, it's the last one, last two nila. It was uh, back March 24 against Top and Top. Marami na pong bagong uh, taong bumasok sa ating laro. Bueno, pasadaan natin ang uh, mga lineups for Red Bull. They are in red. Alvarez is there. Sugate. Topex Robinson is there for the first time. Junto Valenzuela and Enrico Villanueva. Turnover. Laban sa Red Bull, Alvarez losing the basketball. Para naman sa Alaska, they have Willie Wilson, Tony De La Cruz. Uh, Comebacking PBA player, Renzi Bahar, Nick Velasco, and Don Aliado. See the first point of view, Alaska shooting very well, 57% from Red Bull. Red from the floor, only 33%. Oh, Aliado! Which was the exact opposite. Ganoon na nangyari naman ng uh, kanilang first meeting. It was Red Bull. Uh, we shot 55% in that first meeting. Right from behind by De La Cruz anticipating that entry pass for Villanueva. Ball, however, will stay with Red Bull and they have 12 seconds to shoot. 
Good job, Dave. This uh, jumper there, Malak is really clever. Coach Chen, he's not going to uh, to remain with a small lineup. Now it's Rich Alvarez playing the fourth position. So it's another legitimate set of runs for the game. So see uh, Rico Villanueva on the last field goal and red bull. Nangyari pa, nung uh, three minutes and nine seconds of the first quarter, so matagal-tagal na sila ni Dina ang subito. Parang ikaw, nung Holy Week, beta. <laughs> Liquid diet lang ako, ginawa ko. But I'm not talking about water, huh? Ah, may wine din naman sa Biblia. Wala na. Wala na eh. Pero alam ko hindi ka nag-wine. Pwede na, wala na talaga. Gawin po natin, 26-16. Hey, para sa Alaska, Tony De La Cruz, tinawag ng foul. His first personal. Now it's Eddie Lowry making an early appearance here in the ballgame. Nice pass. He's got a ball. Familiarity. Yes, so. So, si Ruth kanina pagpasok niya, hindi pa siya masyado aggressive. Now it's making it strong to the basket. And getting that great assist to Rico Villanueva. Normally happens when you are playing against your former team. Especially if that team did not give you, in your opinion, enough minutes. Oh yes, so siyempre. And Aliado is fouled, you know, going back to Rich Alvarez. I mean, that is normally the case when a player feels that he should have been given more playing time by his former team. And when he faces that former team, there is extra motivation. That's right. I know you still have your issues with Pepsi, Lombilai, Andalusia, and Alaska. Yes, because, you know, when I transferred, no, I was playing five minutes. Then I transferred, they gave me five and a half minutes. So, when I retired, I gave two minutes. So, what do you mean? Backfire. Yeah, see, my former coach, Coach Tim Cole. Of course, yeah. Uh, of course, you want to make sure that you want to point out to uh, your former coach that you are the championship lucky charm. Yes, yes, that's right. No, actually, uh, with Coach Tim, with Coach Kurnia, and Coach Tim, Coach Ko. Uh, of course, when I left Alaska, that was the last time that uh, they won the championship. Right. When I left Santa Lucia, that was also the last time that they won the championship. So I am the common denominator. Yeah. So maybe you and Jumbo Belato should talk. That's it. That's the time, right? I mean, for some reason, sitting on the bench helps your team. We just have it, James. Cheering, you know? 28-18, it's still a 10-point lead for Alaska. Alvarez Tabon came out. Here's the hit. And he nails the PM. There's a big change in the bottom field. Power to the people. Now, when Red Bull continues to hit from the outside, yan, magkakaroon na ng... Ang room itong sila yung Rico Villanueva to operate inside. Ito natin ang blocks. Alaska already with four blocks in this ballgame. Ang nangyari yan, most of those blocks doon sa first quarter. Gusto talaga yung front line itong Alaska overpowered the front line of Red Bull. Here's Robinson as he crosses the half-point line. He steps on the gas over to Alvarez. Alvarez takes a strong goal, and he will go to the line. But that's the way to go for uh, Rich Alvarez. You know, sometimes you sound like that. You're also shooting to Rich Alvarez. But all you need to do is just take it from to the basket, get some fouls, and get your confidence from the free-throw line. The free throw is for Rich Alvarez. Rich Alvarez, perhaps uh, the only celebrated top pick in PBA history not to play yes. in his opening game. That's right. Oh, yeah. A lot of controversy behind that. Well, uh, quite a memorable day for all the wrong reasons for Alvarez. In fact, he was on the cover of, uh, of a Sunday magazine. Uh -oh. That day, he ordered 20 special ringside tickets for uh, friends and relatives. And his relatives got to see him on the bench. That is the uh, still so what the CJ gives like. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> for three. No, for three. three. Eight and 41 to go in the first half. Here's Cortez icing through. Nudge from Julian. Yes. 
And uh, Cortez manages to score his first two points of the ball. Game. I think that's just the thing about the point of Rico Villanueva. <laughs> Whenever he sees a last light, no? driving in the lane. He doesn't try it. He doesn't check the pace of the Right, Pina sa buffet. Valenzuela over to Robinson, outside to Gatti. So Gatti on the board. Alvarez for three. Off the mark. Oh, look at Robinson. Was getting that, and that, ball ball was, well, that ball will go to Red Bull. And, have to, and Robinson gets a uh, healthy round of applause from the Red Bull fans. You know, it's not surprising to see two picks like this. Guy, and it's very entertaining. Eh. You know, and every game, you know, what talaga nila level ito to Robinson. Even yung out of town game, you know, the Maguete. You got a, a lot of offensive rebounds. You know, that's what we tiny people do for you, big right. guys. We I know that this guy is to entertain you. I know that this guy is your hero. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I will for a league someday that is uh, reserved exclusively for people five, six and below. But <laughs> 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 if there is no other, there are no other commissioners that they do not accept the cow. There are no other talaga. Seven and a half to go in the first half. And Yada wants that basketball against Villanueva. But Cortez says, give me some room to operate. He fires, he scores. Right. That's a one-time yes. winner. Uh, for uh, the cool cap. And you were mentioning me to me a while ago, man. So far, this is the best conference for Mike Cortez. The PGA. Right. He, uh, he has been given the room to operate, the license to shoot, and the green light to create. Here's Villanueva. Balik <laughs> Tadjuna. po ang pagbabalik ng PBA. After uh, our observance of the uh, Holy Week, Cortez, Pinalike Aliado, Jabrok no go, Aliado falls to the ground, and here's Robinson as he waits for teammates. Cross court he goes, still got there for three, in and out. This will be against Villanueva. It was a good shot coming from Lodi to that again. I thought it was going to be Rich Alvarez. checking in the ball game for Rich Alvarez. Alo Bugia, one of three rookies on the Red Bull lineup. Here's Aliado. 6 and 19 to go in the second quarter. De La Cruz goes left. Over to Cortez. Over to Robinson. And Aliado gets the rebound. And that's also second nature of the part of Don Aliado. Whenever he sees uh, Rico Villanueva <laughs> making a part of him. <laughs> you, you, know, you cannot, okay, you cannot defeat instincts oh. uh, for at least four years. That's right. It's tough to do that. <laughs> Finally goes in for the middle of the game. He has power to the people. So Red Bull cuts down the last uh, lead to 7 points, 32-25. With over 5 minutes to go in quarter number 2. De La Cruz in the corner. Inside he goes to Wilson. Wilson! Oh. No! Yano gets the offensive rebound. The uh, fourth rebound today for Aliado. New shot for Alaska. Here's De La Cruz over to Aliado. Aliado, long one, yes! Oh, Aliado! He's going to have to to operate at the post, but now he goes to his uh, medium range jumper. Back to a nine point advantage for Alaska. He's going to have a determined to answer back, but he puts up a wild attempt. Here's Cortez on the ball. Cortez, oh, what a starter step. Fooling uh, Valenzuela, but he could not convert. And Robinson is fouled by De La Cruz. Mike Cortez was asking for a foul that time. So he was hammered by the hitman. Pero, well, that foul, so the play continues. Only De La Cruz fouling to Robinson. Richard Del Rosario is back. Peter Martin is back. And yours truly is uh, back in action. Well, I'm not <laughs> exactly sure if I'm happy that uh, I'm not working with this. <laughs> 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 and 
And on the line is Michael Christopher Robinson. Pareho sila ni Leon Lahorda ng mga patang baste. That's right. Kung si Kovex Robinson in the last game. 18 points, 8 rebounds, about 6 assists. Alright! Hey, man! Fortunate to be in the right place at the right time for that easy put back of the missed free throw by Robinson. But it's the pare ng inaabuli to ng red crew. Last uh, Lamang 34 27. Under 5 minutes to go in the second quarter. Pavia now is trying to shadow Velasco. We expect the last step to go to Velasco here. Here is Aliado. Over to Hugnata. No goal. Here's to Gade. Pemisi. Go three. Short. Had a good line though. Well, I mean, it's still a lot of attempts from the three-point line. No? But we're short. We're going to pass off the run. Deeper in consistent. Closing in on the four-minute mark of the second quarter. That layup will not count uh, para El Yago. I'll give it up earlier by Sipinasi, uh, his first personal. No, Sonny Toss, but Balik papalitan si Don El Yago to display as Coach Tim Cohn of starting Sonny Toss. Tapos uh, bringing in Don El Yago off the bench. Uh, it's working so far. Then he with 7 points. Aliado with 8 points. Oh, look at Sonny Toss. He's been very active today. Pippin is going to uh, Velasco. 9 points are in a half of Red Bull. 36-27. 3 and 31 remaining in the second quarter. Bugia. Hand off to Togadi. Togadi nowhere to go. Pinasa kay Bugia. 70 footer on the way. Rebound para kay Velasco. Cortez on the board. Cortez. Sonny Foss. Uh, quickly shadowed by Bugia. Here's Cortez. So opening it's a he slice. Still manages to pass that basketball to Hugnatan. And the hitman gives up his first personal foul. Penalty na po ang Red Bull Barajo with 3 and 15 to go in the second quarter. It's sending Reynel Francis Hugnatan to the free throw line. So, marami nagiging mga mismatches dito ang Alaska. That's why on the help defense, eh, doon nagkakaroon ng mga fouls itong uh, Red Bull. You can see the numbers of Reynel Hugnatan. Conocer is back on the court para palitan si Junti Valenzuela. And Jeffrey Carriazo is back on the court to replace Tony De La Cruz. And this is the second free throw for Rutata. He missed the first and he misses the second as well. Dahil na po na kay Carriazo na napili sa pakura ng Alaska bola to 3.09 to go in the first half. Velasco with a fake, with a drive. This is going to be a blocking foul against Bugia. Oh, I had a good idea of trying to get that charge, but Johnny Paulo Bugia is first. So Alaska making the most of uh, Red Bull's penalty situation. Here in the rainy moment of the second quarter, pasok ang unang free throw ni Velasco. So far for Red Bull, they're still struggling on offense. Wala talagang uh, isang uh, player na really been stepping up. So far, it's just uh, Valenzuela with five points. Yung, uh, leading scorer nila. Oh, just oh, when oh, Alaska oh, built an 11 point lead. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Lordy Togade responding with a PM press. Ang it's a yun ang bagong PM power to the people. Kanya walo po ang labang ng Alaska. 38-30. As we close in on the last two minutes of the second period. Cortez shoots over to Gade. Off the mark, uh, tulakan sa ilalim. And a loose ball foul is spotted by our crew chief tonight. Our Supreme Court Justice Ray Cruz. And it's against Reyna Lugdata. Reyna Lugdata. 
Francis got it. It was uh, partially tripped. You know, but if you're a red bull, no, even though you're struggling offensively, like the Muna in free throws. Wow, a lot of free throws already taken here by uh, Alaska. And they, they had nine more points in the free throw line. But if you're a red bull, at, at least uh even though you're struggling from the field, you're only down by eight. Okay, great. Ready one. Ready one. missing his first free throw. Actually, I recognize uh, Gia Banilla's son and lovely wife because I always see them in church. And uh, minsan nakakatabi ko sila eh. Na, I, you know, I overhear Gia Banilla praying. Doon ko ba nagbibenta sa pagita? <laughs> Ah, you were inside the church. Yes, so, inside okay. the church. And okay. uh, I overhear Gia Vanilla and he always asks for forgiveness. <laughs> so I said, hey, Lord, please forgive me for going to Lasal. Hindi <laughs> 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 lang naman, eh, I just overhear. Ah, okay. I may be wrong. I may yeah, be wrong. I think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I know that or yung, uh, ang hinihinga niya ng dispensa, Lord, forgive me for being wrong. Good Richard Gia Lasal. <laughs> I don't know which is the, the bigger offense. <laughs> <laughs> Here's for a share. As we go to action on the court. A better than 39 to go. Follow away by Bugia will not work. And to si Cortez. Cortez ngayon ang mamadali. He goes right. He hands off. Hook button for two. Wow. Right and now we're not like Cortez. Just attracting a defense to him. Tapos talaga ang libre-libre na ito. Thank you na yun for uh, Reyna Lumnatan. Here's Bugia. Going baseline. Almost to a sneak in against the defense of Velasco. Pero lamang pa rin 9 puntos ang Alaska. 42-33. Here in the remaining moments of the first half. Cross. Quick pass by Rai Cortez. But Bovia is there to swap the shot away. Robinson on the ball. Robinson over to Penisi. Over to Bovia. Bovia fires. Oh, Bovia. Oh, 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 oh. Two times down the floor. Paolo Bovia scores. Tapos on a defensive end. Getting that big block of Mike Cortez. And that will cut down Alaska's advantage to seven points. And they're going to call an offensive foul against Hudnata. And Hudnata was hounded by Tereshair Nolan in the backcourt. So a late surge here by Red Bull Barajo to end the first half. Triggered by their defense, though. The block of Paolo Pugia. Now the hustle play pressure defense by Larry Tereshair. 30 seconds to go before the end of the first half. To Gade. Over to Pinisi. When you bounce pass to Mama Sahita and Sunny Cross. Here's for the share. He spins. Oh, what a pass, pass for Pinisi. Brilliant pass uh, coming from for the share. And now it's just a five point ball game. Forcing Tim Cole to be very cautious with uh, my favorite uh, Filipino food is adobo. What are you talking about? Larry for the share. You, know, you saw the move earlier. Hardly a move uh, coming from uh, second round draft pick, a rookie no less, coming from a career uh, threatening injury. And uh, Fonashera has overcome a lot of challenges throughout his young life. And he's learning uh, from the veterans like uh, Mick Penisi. Uh, what I like about Larry is very, uh, very humble, uh, soft spoken. It's very unusual coming from uh, Anatania. <laughs> Uh, knowing the partner right? <laughs> you know, I can, I can clearly see you did not spend the whole week <laughs> wisely. <laughs> 18 seconds to go. Here's Cortez. Last shot time para sa Alaska. They're up by 5 points. 42-37. Cortez has the basketball. 7 seconds to go. Velasco for 3. No! At the na one in Bugia. He still has the ball. Here's Conacher. 1 second to go. Conacher for 3. Oh! Oh! Yes, sir! Yes, 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 sir! Play. At uh, kami po ay nagagalak na makasalo kayo ngayong uh, Apple Easter Sunday presentation po ito ng uh, PBA on ABC. Live po tayo mula sa Big Dome. 
Iguali, che siamo su Richard Del Rosario, Peter Martin e Stephanie Cueva. And we begin the second half in the last one, half by two, 42 40. Towards the, the last few minutes of the, se the second quarter, you're holding on to a double digit lead. Pero quick turn of events after that timeout by Coach Yang Yao, big down again two points to learn from the Wakan Yokalamangan. Alaska begins the second half with uh, Carriasso, Velasco, who got on Boss and Cortez. Here's Velasco, hook pass for Carriasso for the shoot. Carriasso has to shoot here. He takes, he fires, oh boy. Red Bull begins the third quarter with Cyrus Baggio, Warren Ibanez, Enrico Villanueva, Nick Chinisi, and Larry Fenecer. Wild shot uh, coming from Baggio. You can see here the adjustment that the coach Yang Gao. Now it's uh, uh, brought this, the two big men together, see uh, Enrico Villanueva and Nick Chinisi, because, well, Florina did not work in the first half, but if they had a small lineup, uh, Medro Tapiesta. Alaska. Here's Baggio taking up the basketball, handing it over to Sonacer. The Ibanez, uh, he started this ball game at the point guard spot, playing in only his second game into the Philippine Cup. Here he is, number four, Juan Ibanez. Bola ngayon ay Bilan Nueva Lapin Cape Velasco. That's a good matchup. Hey, you know, I think uh, it's one of the instructions of Coach Yang Yao for his big men was to challenge them, no? Then, uh, medyo nalabangan sila in the first half, so dapat makapawi naman sila mga Rico Villanueva. That's why they went to Rico Villanueva at the post and attacked the defense of Nick Velasco. Second personal laban kay Velasco, only the first team foul laban sa Alaska. And Villanueva on the free throw line is... Uh, akin to sending an Eskimo to Boracay or sending me to Taft Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> you are very welcome there, huh? I, I am, yes. I'm going to bow. Of course, I have to be careful with my words. Taft Avenue, you can do it. Good job, Alie. Because uh, this game is being directed by a very uh, distinguished uh, last night, Direct Nongong Alaro. Who promises to welcome me in Green Hills? Ah, yes. They're in the street. <laughs> <laughs> That's an overpass. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Velasco is down, uh, but uh, Cortez and Ignatan uh, help him up. Score Natan 42 41. So, isa na lang itong abante ng Alaska. Tim Cohn hoping that today will mark the end of their three game losing skid. Here's the test right from behind by Fonashair. Ball will stay with Alaska. The last field goal of Alaska happened in the last minute and 30 of the second quarter. And that uh, is goal by Hukata. Now, yes, finally, the last goal now is Alaska. They also with seven points today. Actual uh, jumper from Fonacher uh, from the right side. He has eight points. At uh, balik sa isa, ang abate ng Alaska, 44-43. We are in the early moments of uh, the third quarter. Somebody forgot to put a body on Nick Velasco. That's why it's simple. Back screen. Malibu uh, yung to Nick Velasco. Coming off that triangle offense. Red Bull down by three. The Ibanez misses. Oh, but he's got the basketball even when uh, he was lying down. He could see that the rebound, no? But the guy, the bad box of the boy. That's a lot of money. Here's a pattern. Eight to shoot. That's Alaska. Cortez on the right side. Cortez hand off. Uh, basket no count, says Boy Cruz. He spotted the foul launcher. Laban kay Ibanez. That's going to be a score personal. Warren Ibanez. Shot clock, 14 seconds. That's why the back. Topex Robinson getting ready to check in. Oh, so you know, Panira yun eh, no? Kay Mike Cortez, ayan. Here's Baggio, bounce pass for a share. He tries to save the ball. Oh, there's a foul against Ignata. Well, she's 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 that will be his 
third foul. That was an extremely lucky play, Carlos Red Bull, because uh, that play went haywire when Baggio issued a shaky pass. Bounce pass para kay Fonacier. Oh, behind the team pass ni Baggio to Fonacier. Well, to shoot para sa Red Bull. Here is Robinson. Trying to shake off for the pitch. Fonacier to the corner. In and out. Dylan Reba. No go. And he was called warding off. Wow, what a battle of the backboards. It's a big bit of both teams. They were looking to Dylan Reba again. Not a while at that time. Trying to avoid the outstretched arms of Nick Velasco from blocking his shot. So the crowd go back. Yeah, offensive foul we call it Jeff because yeah, so yeah, something similar happened in the first half. Uh, remember, uh, of course, the third over uh, against Mugnatan. Mugnatan uh, committing an offensive foul. Good thing in the getting in. So great backcourt pressure being employed here by Red Bull. Three points and the lead in Red Bull. Back you saw an opening. And half time over to Sobiano. You know, it's just a uh, showpiece of his athletic ability. Here by uh, Cyrus Baggio. So Alaska up by a precarious point here in the third quarter. But uh, right. the first time he scores a three point lead with that jumper. Michael Press with six points to do. So also Michael Press fast emerging to be one of the leaders from the uh, Alaska, especially after the departure of uh, Bradford Kablai. Here's Baggio. What a say, I thought about the three. 15 for it. Oh, over to Dylan Reba. Oh, he's an over to the One more try. Sayang, oh, great, another great pass coming from Larry for the share. Which would have nothing to do with William Reva, no more than Indira. But uh, he'll be uh, taking two free throws. Over seven minutes to go in the third period. Nagahabul po dito ang Red Bull Barako, but not by much. They were down by as many as 11 points, uh, but they had a strong wind-up towards the end of the first half. And Robinson can it off. will chop it off. Yeah, it's just like a pit bull trying to get that ball away from Sonny Ball. So here's the pale of the tape. Lopez <laughs> <laughs> Robinson is uh, maybe five six on a good day. Yes. Double socks and uh, high top shoes. <laughs> Sunny Toss is 6-7. Uh, who do you think will win this? Uh, <laughs> hey, but Topic's job, Robinson can jump. Oh, yes. He's, he's very athletic. He can really jump like a spring. Here we go. <laughs> what did I tell you? you know, I what did that I that tell basketball. you? Topic's Robinson is this close to becoming the patron saint for the people high five and below. <laughs> <laughs> With that time, they didn't jump anymore. They missed time yung, uh, jump the Topex Robinson. And then that, they're going to pass it down. For the Batman 48, 46, just a two-point lead for the Alaska. And for the oh. Oh, trying to uh, shake off Baggio. Not quite Baggio on the ball. Baggio, hand off for Robinson, tight pass. Here is Cortez against Penisi. Cortez has Wilson on the left side. Cortez. Yes, sir! <laughs> had to be creative that time, it's my goodness. As a melody umbrella defense good to uh, the defenders of Red Bull. And with six and a half to go in the third quarter, that's the third quarter. That's the third quarter. Sunny Toss, that's the third quarter. That's the third quarter. That's the third quarter. That should be a 15 foul against Alaska. The next foul will send the Red Bull player to the free throw line. Dylan Reva lap and Nick Velasco. What points are in the Havel on Red Bull? There's a steal by Cortez. As he goes behind the back. Pacquiao trying to break up the play. There's Lopez Robinson. Over to Pacquiao. Pacquiao, no! One more try. Wait a minute. There was a foul. What action we're seeing here right oh, now. Body's fall on the floor. And they're going it's for that uh, basketball like an Easter egg. Well, this is Easter Sunday foul treated to uh, what has been a pulsating third period between these two teams. Great hustle being displayed, particularly by the Red Bull defense. Although, lamang dito ang Alaska 50-46. But the pride of Iligan, 
It was Baggio on the line with an opportunity to trim down the deficit. Speaking of Iligan, Misamis uh, Oriental uh, is going to be the site of uh, the coming All-Star game again. The Oro, Oro, yes. Oro. It will be the host city coming from the host province. All-Star lineups, starting fives for both the North and the South. And Balita, even ABC5 will be bringing in an All-Star crew. Cortez to Velasco, yes. Velasco. Velasco managing to keep Red Bull at bay. They're scoring a four-point lead, 52-48. Baggio goes left, for a share for three. Off the mark. Igor Villanueva, very aggressive, not offensive boards. But that time, the uh, last night, the power name Bola. Under six minutes to go in the first quarter. It's a big ball, understandably, out in the full cap. Turnover, all even by the piece. The last one, Red Bull. That was too far away for Donald Yado. And Willie Wilson grabbed the offensive rebound. He's scoring a new shot down for Alaska. Five and a half to go in the third. Wilson over to Carriazzo. Carriazzo. Wow. Wow. He was caught dancing with the wrong pair of shoes. Yeah, major. It's light to Jeffrey Carriazzo. That's why he's called for traveling. Uh, gentlemen on the hard court at this juncture, Paras a red goal, and just to take the Rockets inside of Fabio. And Nico Villanueva with Pinisi and Nari Conoce. Pinisi, 4-3. Yes, sir! That's a PSV. It's a new body. Empower to the people. And that's a specialty of the house for Mick Pinisi. Actually, mas parang yung pangasya ni na attempt from 3-point line. This is a 2-point uh, field. The 2-point field goal. So, isa na lang ang uh, labang ng Alaska, 52-51. Therefore, Red Bull is uh, knocking on the door here in the third quarter. Here's Velasco. Cannot leave the uh, Villanueva behind. Carriazzo from the corner. No! And the ball goes out of bounds. And the ball will stay with Alaska. Kasi pinisi sumabot dun sa braso ni Aliado. As the ball bounced out of bounds and the will stay with Alaska. More than 30 now remaining in the third period. Three point field goal shooting. Look at the attempts of Red Bull as compared to Alaska. Yeah, yeah that's 21 to 0. And a three point line advantage for Red Bull. But for nothing yet in Alaska from the NCS West Country. Ella Cruz uh, back. In action for the Aces, joining Wilson, Cortez, Aliado, and Velasco. Four and a half remaining in the third quarter. Fabio Laban A. Wilson. Penisi, what a share. Back to Penisi. And now the Villanueva who could not hold on to the basketball. Wilson, what are you coming from Cortez? In addition there by Mike Cortez to Lafitte, Willie Wilson underneath the basket. That was like the UAV all over again. With Cortez and Wilson double teaming uh, the hulking uh, Villanueva. Well, that happened because uh, Noel Asa Xena to Sinek Velasco as uh, Rico tried to seal him in the paint. Villanueva is the best player of uh, the Fiesta Conference. As Villanueva goes 2 for 2 on the strike. So with uh, 4 minutes and 2 seconds to go in the quarter, Lamang po ng isang Alaska. And, uh, oh! 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 Oh!
thundering at home, surprising everybody, and uh, that restores the three-point lead for the Aces. Well, it's a three-point shot by Larry for the sure. There's the end of the second quarter, energized the goal. That buck could energize the last day, is it? Here's Penisi. Locating for the shares in the corner. Aliado with the rebound. Here's Wilson. Outside the Cortez. Three-point lead for Alaska. 56-53. As we near the three-minute mark of the third quarter. Cortez for three. Good. And who gets the ball? It's, uh, it's a quick for the share. Here's Baguio. Robinson outside the back. You're 15 to shoot for Red Bull Carajo. Trailing this ball game by three points. Just to tie the game. Villanueva gets the offensive rebound. De La Cruz with a steal. De La Cruz bounce pass. Wilson bottles the basketball. And Denisi flips it out of bounds. Will stay with Red Bull and Red Bull inside the count. You know, right? Uh, uh, Red Bull coming within your point. It took me a last time. I don't know a big basket coming from the players that uh, kept Red Bull at bay. Actually, the Red Bull has never led in this ball game. And so far, it's been all Alaska. Although Red Bull is creeping in slowly but surely. Harper Tess, 8.6 assists and 2 rebounds. Emerging to be one of the leaders of this team. Here's De La Cruz. No go. Long rebound ends up with Baggio. Baggio on the move goes behind the bag against Cortez. Now against Wilson. He goes right outside Pogade. Pogade takes Pogade sidestep. Lillian Nueva has the basketball over to KDC. The 12 on the shot clock. Red goal down by three points here in the third quarter. Right to shoot for Red Bull. Three on the shot clock, Baggio steps back, no. Who got the offensive rebound? And Denise goes to Baggio. Baggio saw it. Oh, 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 wow. What a foul. What a shot from Cyrus Baggio. I mean, he had the momentum already. Grab it. I think that was something on Cyrus Baggio. I'm sure we'll be seeing that a little later on. And then he played Grab it. Here's the bonus free throw. The Pedro Ibagio, three point play as we go to Peter Martin. Thank you, Nico. Hindi naman talaga yung new play ni Coach Jing Giao, no? Yung uh, fantastic play ni Cyrus Baggio. Actually, they want to go to Lordi to guard it. They want to run Lordi to guard it some plays. They want him to be more involved. Sa depensa naman, para sa Red Bull, sabi ni Coach Jing Giao, bahala kayo. You can gamble on the double. Pag sariling discard kayo. Back to you guys. How about uh, Peter Wilson? As Wilson shatters the deadlock with that uh, inside goal, 58 56. Labang na naman ng Alaska. A minute and 36 to go in what has been a pulsating third period. They go back to Baggio. Penisi for the lead. Yeah, but it's a big man. They hit up the rest of the goal to get that lead. This is the shoot, that is uh, Alaska, Wilson, hammered inside. Just running into uh, Nick Benisi. Back to live action, Kalawa, ang labang dito ng Alaska. And Aliado, putting uh, too much mambo on that move as uh, Bahar is Reinserted in the ball game by Tim Cole. One minute remaining in the third quarter. Gugia is also back on the court of facing Benisi. As Kovic Robinson misses, put back to Gugia. Yes, sir. And we're trying to go at 58. Rebounding now being a problem for Alaska. Ramina na huwa mga offensive rebounds. Juta red ball. Under a minute to play in the third quarter. Na is makamit ng Alaska ang malabangan. The game is tied at 58. Five to shoot for the Aces. And that's an offensive foul against Aliado. Uh, once again, instinct. Offensive foul against Aliado. 
Sino na naman? Matindi yung instinct eh. Iba na nga yung huli ng mga uniforme eh. Oo, pero hindi. Yung ato tayo yung yung buka eh. Because the smells are the same. The smells are the same. Pangalawang offensive pass na ni Aliado kay Villa Trevo yan. Yes, Tugate. Red Bull got it for the lead here. Tugate for the lead. Top shot, no goal. And the ball ends up with Kugia. Last shot time here for Red Bull and uh, Baguio knows that. Baguio, what's he doing? He will lose the ball. And who has it? Wilson flips it over to Bahar. And Hulk Nakan will slam it home. Oh, well, lucky break here for Alaska. Kukadinas, we never tell Red Bull towards the end of the first half. Alaska, you know what's in there to this time, pero they all as far. Oh, it's a steal. De La Cruz. Almost, but not quite. I have a very okay, we just have a violation here. Right? He goes for a technical foul because he failed to report to the official's table. It does not happen every day. Yes. Very clear. That's a big uh, break for Alaska. And uh, this uh, very close ball game. That uh, might spell the difference later on. Huh? So we begin the fourth quarter with Alaska on top by 361-58. Red Bull starts the playoff period with Kugia, Valenzuela, Tukade, Tenisi, and Kibadi. What's happening on EP13? They want to get more to divide the game. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's the first offensive uh, set. They're going to have to get Lordy Tukade. They're going to have to get more to get Tony De La Cruz. Here's Tukade. Tenisi matched up against Aliado. Hit the shoot. Tukade for three. Yes, sir! Power to the people. Yes, sir! 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 to the hitman on the right side to Gade Lavante de la Cruz with 11 to shoot to Gade yes yeah. now Lodi to Gade getting going good lead on the defense there of uh, Tony de la Cruz going strong to the baseline five straight points para kay to Gade he ties the count of 63 wins up from the corner Renzi Bahar big Bahar on the ball yung kanyang pasa na tapik palabas it will stay with Alaska so far, Tungalas has been hitting big baskets every time Red Bull has been threatening to take the lead. Tingnan natin kung makakascore ulit sila dito. Takes the shoot for Alaska. Tap out by Valenzuela. Now we'll leave Alaska with five seconds on the shot. The Aces have Wilson, Aliado, De La Cruz, Ugnatan, and Bahar on the hard court. De La Cruz gets the inbound. And underneath, he gets blocked from behind by Pugia. Ibanez steps on the gas. Ibanez steps on the brakes. And with ten and a half to go in the ball game, he sets up the play here for Red Bull. Benici. To Pugani on the right side. Valenzuela up against De La Cruz. Valenzuela to Benici. Ibanez is bumped. Good passing there. Good patience being shown by Red Bull in their offense. And finally giving Red Bull the first taste of the lead in this ball game. 65-63 as we head over to Peter Martin. Thank you, Nico. Coach Tim Cohn said we have to make, pay more attention to the rebounding of Red Bull because they have been gang rebounding. Tapos kanina, kawag kinausap pa niya si Don Alado, sabi niya, don't change the way you've been playing. That's your game. It's just the break of the game regarding yung mga offensive fouls niya. Back to you guys. That is correct. Okay, you know what? Nagi get the blame on Alaska. They must second chance opportunities of Red Bull. The Bajas against Bahar, one on one. Red Bull now putting up a run that gave them the speed. Bahar on the pitch, Tim Cohn, the number one player, is tapping Michael Fess back at the next dead ball situation. Marini Banyes, one half of the Red Bull Lilits. The other, of course, being Topic Robinson. Uh, you know, the Red Bull Lilits, they, they are a gutsy pair. Oh, yes, definitely. And so a lot of confidence 
uh, being given here to Aaron Ibanez by Coach Ian Giao. Kahit na maganda nga pinapakita nito si Topex Robinson, it's important for Warren to get his confidence up para rin sa succeeding ball game nila. 3-point lead para sa Red Bull Barako, 66-63. So dito pa sa fourth quarter, nakatikin ng lamang ang Red Bull. Here's Zaliado, taking pass to Gia. Second person na laban kay uh, Bugia And only the first team Para laban sa Red Bull Which is a payoff period Velasco is uh, set back And the hard court to replace with Nata so Right away, they will go to Nick Velasco Against Paolo Bugia at the post They've been successful with that matchup In the first half Tignan natin if they continue in the second half Velasco Oh, dahil nakaskoy doon si Nick Velasco May 20 puntos na po si Nick Velasco Pero lamang pa rin ang Red Bull 66-65 Benici Bangs into Aliado Here is Ibanez Bogia Yes sir Perhaps we can uh, have an opportunity to look at that play involving Benici and Aliado well, it did appear that uh, Benici rammed over, rammed through Aliado. We put on Zidon Aliado. And obviously, uh, the Alaska coaches expecting a, a call to be made there. That's right. That's the uh, question, too. If Aliado was uh, properly squared, or was already set on defense before McBenici ran on into him. And now, Tim Code is uh, having a verbal... Uh, uh, discussion here with uh, crew chief Boy Cruz. I think part of the contention is also that because Galliato was already called for two offensive fouls, so parang uh, there's a play that's called it both ends of the court. Eight and a half remaining in the ball game. Here's Velasco, the proud owner of 20 points today. Velasco hand off Wilson and Yada quickly to Cortez. Four three, no goal. Furious battle for the rebound ends up in a foul against Red Bull. Benici with that target on foul that time. And now Red Bull again with a small lineup. Consider it small because see Paulo Puglia now is uh, playing the number four position matched up against Nick Velasco. Let's see if Alaska will continue to go to that matchup. And that po natin, pareho may three game losing skip. Ang Red Bull at ang Alaska Kanya pareho lang determinado Manalo ang dalawang kapitan Si Jody Valenzuela Tinawagan ang kanyang second personal foul And that is a third team foul Lapit sa Red Bull in the fourth quarter Kaya here's Velasco He scored earlier against the defense of Kugia Goes to shoot for Alaska. Here's Aliado Lapa Cape Pedici. Aliado, what will he do with the basketball? He makes it go inside. Jump hook, no go. And the ball is up with Velasco. Bagun shot lang para sa Alaska. Lucky break here for Alaska. As Red Bull tries to grab that rebound in a big palapas. And it ended up in a piece of uh, uniform. Rebound para kay Pugia off the miss by Carriasso. Here's Ibanez over to Valenzuela. Benici wants the basketball, but Valenzuela says let's organize. 14 to shoot for Red Bull. Benici back to Pugade for three! Go. Still over seven minutes remaining in the ball game. Close to Velasco. And now Aliado on the left side. Aliado takes. Goes to Dela Cruz. Oh, this is money. No. Oh. Normally, that's money in the back. Dela Cruz, no go. And that's last touch on Benici. Dela Cruz still struggling with his shots. Back inside the big dome. Agad na gawin ko sa kanilang lahat. Bingo Halini, kasama si Vincent Del Rosario, Peter Martin, and Stephanie Cuevo. Ito yung plus 4, Spartan Rose. Para sa ABC Sports. Sa lukuyang lamang ng Red Bull, 68-65. Higit ang anong minuto na titira sa ating laro. Bola na kay Jody Valenzuela. Valenzuela on the go. Slicing through. Pinasa kay Bugia. And he is. 
Velasco is hounded. He loses the ball and the hit has scored. A consistent piece off for Juppi Valenzuela. After Velasco grabbed that rebound, it's the only thing he's going to do. Nice points uh, off the bench for Juppi Valenzuela. Cagliasso on the reverse, and he will take two. Iba, with a free throw, Cagliasso. Para kay Cagliasso, si Penisi ang pinawagan ng foul. His fourth personal, there's Paolo Pugia. Closing in on a possible double-double off the bench for Red Bull. Right. Oh, good numbers from uh, Paolo Pugia. Four out of two for uh, Jeff. He has nine points today. And the Lamont Red Bull, 1767. As we close in on the halfway mark of quarter number four. Never to shoot, part of the Red Bull, bounce pass, part of the Villanueva. Nice pick and roll play there between the Villanueva and uh, Juppie Valenzuela. Villanueva with eight markers. In the ball game, here's Sonny Boss. Sonny Boss has great opening quarter for Alaska. Here he is with a basketball, with an array of fours, and he gets the layup on him. Oh. 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 Very basic movements, no? but I don't want to waste that movement coming from this guy. 5 of 33 remaining in the ball game. Pablo Pareda in the half of Zito in Alaska, 72-69. Ibañez for three, no goal, Napalagas. Cariasso gets the rebound with one hand. Here's uh, Cortez scanning the foot. One hand to pass. Para in Velasco. He powers his way through. But he missed the layup. Of Dallas that time. Here indeed that happens in Velasco in layup there. Bogia. Hand ball for Tugade. Tugade. Yung kanyang pasa. Dating na maagaw. And uh, De La Cruz passes the ball over. It will go to Red Bull. Yes, hoping that uh, Alaska had a guy down the floor. Yes, it is with Deepa Chow PC. Happy, happy, she is. Just in case. Oh, baka ba siya happy siya? Kala, pita na ko ba? Sangat mo na huwag kinahog niya siya? Wala ka pa. Here's a ready to get it. On the move, all the way to the floor. We're going lay up here by Lordy to get it. This is a Red Bull 3 to 5. We are cutting off an Alaska time out. Ito ba sa Pistos? And it was top of the key. That's the down by five, 74, 69. Uh, defense scoring. What a big difference, 42 to 15. And this bench of uh, Red Bull has really, well, in the last conference, that, that bench won them the championship back for you. And now it's, uh, it's longer than the lead here in the ball game. Third personal against the hitman, Junti Valenzuela, sending De La Cruz on the line. De La Cruz struggling tonight. That's correct. Only a point to show. Actually, De La Cruz averaging almost 13 points a ball game. So big dip. This is an uh, offensive uh, scoring need, Tony De La Cruz. There's four minutes to go in the ball game. Throws his first in the line, although he only has three points tonight. He does cut down the Red Bulls lead to three, 74, 71. All in the right, Venezuela. He does the right, Venezuela. He does the right, Venezuela. Venezuela on the move. There's a foul spotted by Joey Golunkagi. Get his rhythm going in this ball game. Here's Togade. Oh, 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 stretch. Got it on the stretch. And uh, Togade now with 16 points off the bench. There's a steal. Here's Valenzuela. Out pass for Togade. Togade will go to Togade for three. Yes, sir. Valenzuela, very sorry. Talagang malaking problema yan for Alaska. 
And it is very ironic because Alaska is actually the number one three-point shooting team here in the conference. And yet they are being uh, severely outgunned by Red Bull. Cortez pull up his board. Five for Cortez. Sa sa ating ball game ng Alaska with 2 and 51 remaining in the fourth quarter. Red Bull on top by 6.79-73. Mugade has been the man of the moment for Red Bull Barajo. Villanueva using his muscle inside and he was flipped on the arm. That's a way to take it strong to the basket. Never mind if you get blocked. You can tell the coaches to mass the ball down, mass the ball down. But the most important thing is to take it strong to the hole. Get fouled and go to the free throw line. Second personal laban kay Foss. More importantly, penalty na po ang Alaska. First free throw, no good. As a former U.S. Army, Ibanez sits down. Lopez Robinson will take his place at the quarterback spot. Second free throw para kay Villanueva. Rebound para kay Foss. Malakas pagkakataw to para sa Alaska. They are down by 6 points, 79-73. As we near the last two minutes of the ball game. With nothing in the corner. This will be two shots for Nick Velasco. That's right. Oh, they keep on going to the front line. And the last cases because you know strength of the Laro dito sa ating ball game. On the other hand, you know, natin, from Red Bull naman, it's been the backcourt. Two shots for Melanie Marina, Cordy Tugade, Larry Fonashir, Cyrus Baggio. But here for Alaska, it's been their uh, front line. Sonny Foss, Nick Velasco, and Don Oliado doing the damage. Mugea sits down, uh, Pinisi is uh, back for his experience and clutch shooting. Velasco leading the attack here para sa Alaska with 21 points and 13 rebounds. Make that 22 points. Only now it's just a four-point ball game, 79-75 in favor of Red Bull. Oh, there's a steal! Cortez on the board, and he gets fouled, he will take two. So, isa pa ang pagkakataon para sa Alaska na halo pang uh, maibaba ang uh, alamangan ng Red Bull. Popex Robinson called for his third personal foul. Well, Juti Valenzuela was making a very big mistake of stopping his dribble, going up to the air. That was nowhere to go. So you see a free throw shooting. 10 of 19 for Red Bull and uh, 17 of 22 for Alaska. So, uh, 7 points up on Alaska. It remains at 7 points. Larry Ponashir for Juki Valenzuela. Larry Ponashir, another deadly three-point shooter coming in for Red Bull. Oh, two big misses. Mula kay Cortez. Kanina, si Andrigo among the two misses in the free throw line here. Ponashir to Villanueva. Ponashir. We are in the last two minutes of play. Apart from the Labang and Red Bull Barajo, these two teams are hoping to snap three game losing skits tonight. On a share on the ball, Benici fires, misses. And Gore is up with Velasco over to Cortez, four point ball game. Here's Cortez over to Wilson, hand up, Santos, yeah! Oh, oh Alaska, they thought they were going to win a Hubble, making their own run. We're going to have a wild wind up here with a minute and 13 to go. 11 to shoot for the Red Bull. Tomasi Felicia and Velasco. Togade takes Togade. Oh, that should be a... Oh, offensive foul. Oh, the tower. Offensive foul number 15, Lord Uruguay. The son was going to be called for a traveling violation, but uh, he was called for an offensive foul. Either way, that's a turnover. That's right. Lord Uruguay. So two points to run. 
Ang abago ng Red Bull. Here's the defying basket. And we're tied at 79. Our sixth deadlock of the evening. How will Red Bull respond after relinquishing what was once an 8-point lead moments ago? That's right, so ito. You can see the desire of both these teams to win this ball game. That's all a matter of execution. Finisi. Oh, that's not a good call. Wow, that happened in front of Gaichi Ferrer was on top of that play. Finisi is shuffling his feet as he stepped on the brakes. So now it's been a series of turnovers, no? That has uh, allowed uh, Alaska to crawl back here and tie this ball game. Now with a chance to grab that lead. With only 28 seconds to go in the payoff period. We are inside the primitive group. Velasco for the lead. Oh, two as the foul is called. And that was a smart play coming from Alaska. They knew that when they were in the penalty. And Velasco, the hottest guy in an Alaska Aces uniform. Velasco shooting to run inside the paint. But yet, uh, bibigyan na naman siya ng chance. Mabigay ulit sa Alaska ang kalamangan. Alaska on a 9-0 tear. Make a 10-0 tear. And they reclaim the lead 80-79. Isa pang free throw para kay Velasco. Uh, this will really put pressure on Red Bull Barraco with only 22.5 seconds remaining in the ball game. Here, he's always jumping inside. Okay, come on. A lot of options on that uh, play for Coach Yang Yao. After it, Kai Kino, the uh, Red Bull, will be given a green light to shoot. So all the same on the inbounder, the Padini niya may pasase yung bola. But uh, most importantly, they have to set good feet without fouling. And uh, even now, he's going to kill the rookie. They have a chance to uh, tie to the lead to Red Bull as the last option. Tignan natin how the defense of Alaska will react to this offensive side by Ho Cheng Giao. On the court, para ka sa Red Bull, for the share, the rookie will do the inbounding chores. Kasama niya si Penisi, Villanueva, Tugade, and Baguio is back on the court. 22 seconds to go, both teams are in the penalty. Here we go. Tugate gets the pass. And he gets the basket. Oh, 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 oh. So what a well-executed play here from Red Bull. So lordy, lordy, lordy. Straight it through. Kung sakaling manalo ang Red Bull dito, Tugate, what is the leading out of Alaska Red Bull? Meron pang dalawang 30-second timeout. On the court for the Aces, Cortez, Foss, Wilson, Hugnatan, and Velasco. Let's see how Alaska will execute this time. Karina, but the execution of Red Bull. We'll have a lot of time. Cortez has the basketball. Cortez ties his throw. Pinasa kay Velasco. He will miss. One more try, no go. But a whistle is blown by Bert Cruz on the reach-in. 
And on that play, he wanted the ball in Michael Sess hands to make the decision of whether to go to the basket or drop it down to the big guys. And you know what, you know what, Michael Tess now, Masusi Bufan. Free throw for Hukata, and yes, Hukata is a 65% free throw shooter. He is uh, no stranger to pressure plays because uh, nothing uh, finals MVP to. Hindi naglalaro pa siya sa NBA. But uh, he has an opportunity here to uh, give the go-ahead uh, free throw for Alaska, retired at 82. This second free throw can shatter the deadlock. Walang ka problem problema para ang Raider. The next option, guys, should be Rico coming out or Mick coming out. Okay? So yun, hand off. Okay? Pick and roll. There's a lot of time left. Okay? There's a lot of time left. Okay? Come on, let's go. One more time. Take the shot away. Either way, we don't have to worry about it. All right. So now, the big... Wari na yung first two options coming off the screens ng mga forward ng Alaska. So, ito naman inbound to replay a crucial role here for the offense of Coach Yen Yao as he will be the recipient of a handoff from the big guy. You can see on the statistic, Red Bull sanay na sanay sa ganitong mga sitwasyon. They have Conacer, Kenisi, Villanueva, Tugate, and Baguio. Ten and a half seconds to go. That's going to be a delay of nine warnings. That was the last game. Si Nilip Lamang nila anong balak ng Red Bull. Defending for the Aces are Mike Cortez, Nick Velasco, Sunny Foss, Willie Wilson, and Reyna Lugnata. Red Bull is down by one. For the share. Crucial inbound here. Penisi back to for the share. Eight seconds to go. Here's Villanueva. Five seconds to go. Villanueva fires. Five go. He's got him with a rebound and he will be fouled. And it looks like Alaska will uh, score a come from behind win. 1.5 seconds to go. Alaska on top side. So two shots for Raynel Kuknata. Kanina, he was perfect from the line with the pair of pressure back free throws. Let's see how he does on this trip. With 1.5 seconds to go. Oh, short on the first. May isa pang time out ang Red Bull. May isa pang time out ang Red Bull. We have a one-point ball game, 83-82 in favor of Alaska. Kaya nga, may option to save natin. If he should deliberately miss the second free throw, Tapos makaagawa na lang bola for time to run out. Oh, that's going to be a lucky break for Red Bull. You can have one quick pass inside, okay? Diretso ka na ron. So, Lordy, hindi ka ka-curl. Kaya mo mag-curl si Cyrus. Tapos ganun ka, okay? All we need! It's a one point. It's a it's a two point shot. It doesn't have to be a three point shot. But we got a point. All right. So yeah, Malino and Malino. After it's a safe and nation same play. But now who will they go to? They're looking at the option of Larry Fernandez getting it back after inbounding the basketball. But if Malino do the first two cutters, they can also pass it there inside. Remember, Alaska is also in the penalty. So Red Bull going for the win here with 1.5 seconds to go. For the share, to Tugate, for the 